the committee held its hearings entirely in camera. The Inspector General of Police attended but left before it ended. His lawyers expressed satisfaction with the committee chairman's conduct. This is where some of us have a problem with this whole thing. If you have to bring the head of internal security here to come and listen to his subordinates as to whether they have some evidence concerning his work. In the first place, if you are serving police officer, there is a process to use. It is not this place. Spokesperson of the IGB's legal team, Kofi Bentel, also expressed concerns about the chairman's decision not to allow members of the police management board to observe proceedings at the hearing. Pomap came here because this is about them also. And so they entered the room. Indeed, it is our argument that Pomap should have remained in the room. And if, even if the IGB had to leave, he could have left certain members of Pomap there to answer certain questions. But when we went in, um, the chairman said, well, it is supposed to be in camera. And therefore, uh, not everybody ought to be there. Again, out of abundance of respect for the Speaker of Parliament, for Parliament, and the committee and the chairman, Puma members agreed and excused themselves, leaving the IGP and his lawyers. It is my view that it was a compromise. The committee chairman denied allegations of bias against him. It is very disappointing for anybody to say I'm biased. On the contrary, the generality of Ghanaians believe that I've steered the affairs of the committee well, and if anybody is having jitters, I'm going to sort of uh, manufacture evidence against the IGP. Uh, it has no accord with common sense, because what we are doing here, with the greatest of respect, is being recorded. So attach here with, with whatever dexterity will not be able to improve upon the evidence. We have fight, fight, finding fight committee, and it is being recorded and transcribed verbatim. So why am I being biased? Amidst allegations of bias, the committee, especially its chairman, is swimming through the murky waters, hoping to conclude its work soon and present its report to the plenary. Duke Ben Topoku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.